everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is episode 4 where last time we went to the moon of uh, Palavan reunited with our best boy who's uh, downstairs in the crew quarters doing his calibrations right now uh, and we have more missions to get to a hell of a lot to do actually uh, and it's been it's been a such a such a pleasant time so far you know everything is so positive the reapers are wiping out everyone on the galaxy and it's all smiles <laughs> as we try our best to keep positive trying to figure out how to win this war. Uh, Primarch Victus is also down below in the war room. We need to assemble groups for it to have a summit so we can figure out what the hell's going on. And we have a whole list of, uh, of missions to do. And uh, what we're going to be doing uh, this episode is we're going to be going and checking out these missions. Because I already figured I already like figured this out before where the way that Mass Effect 3 is deciding to structure their missions is priority missions are not necessarily priority missions, but they're the ones that is, this is the main mission, right? So these are the main missions to do. And then everything else is like a side mission. So we'll be running through and trying to do side missions as soon as they become available. Uh, like for example, this one, as soon as we can go to the Shrike Abyssal, we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> Um, but we haven't even unlocked that. It doesn't even look like that's uh, a place for us to go to uh, yet. Um, Priority Eden Prime. Uh, I have actually been told by um, one of my mods who I am trusting to be my uh, non-spoiler guide on the DLC. Uh, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I have already been given a... I'll be given, you know, as I progress through the game, my... Uh, little pointers as to you should do this mission now uh, in ways that don't spoil anything. And it's like, okay, cool. Uh, so Eden Prime, I believe, is the From Ashes DLC, which I have been told it was day one, like paid DLC by EA, classic. Uh, so we'll be doing Priority Eden Prime today. Get that out of the way, considering it released so early. Uh, but yeah, you guys don't have to worry about the DLC order and whatnot like that. I This is why I have a mod team. Uh, that are helping me out and helping out the, the community uh, to avoid any any spoilers, which is really good. Uh, and we'll also check out uh, the Citadel stuff and have a look at Grissom Academy. So got our got our hands full, but we'll ignore priority missions until we you know make sure we've got side missions and all that jazz uh, out of the way. So let's jump into the galaxy map, and uh, we're going to go to the mass relay. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, am I full up on fuel? Yep, we're going to go to the mass relay and head on over to... Oh, hang on. Oh, there you go. We've unlocked new places. We've unlocked a new spot. There you go. The Petra Nebula to rescue the students. So that's the, uh, that's the academy, Grism Academy. Cool. Meet with diplomats in the Anos Basin, Dr. Bryson and Arya Talok in the Citadel. Cool. Oh, there you go. The Shrike Abyssal. It's here now. Uh, we can go to the Shrike Abyssal and get that Prothean Artifact. But let's do uh, the Exodus Cluster first. So we'll do the Prothean Artifact and then we'll go to the Shrike Abyssal and get the Prothean Obelisk. And then we'll return to the Citadel and we can give the Obelisk to the Volus. Uh, and then we can also meet with everybody on the Citadel. Absolutely everybody. Um, now I think I can scan this place. But this is a Reaper controlled space so I need to be careful. found something. Nice. Okay, zero percent assets recovered. I'll do some scanning and then we'll jump in onto and then we'll jump in into the into the mission. I gotta say that one of the scariest things that you could probably do is scan a system. <laughs> scan a system and the Reaper alertness bar to almost completely fill up in one go and have red arrows in 
five directions <laughs> just to pop up and be like, oh, we really just alerted the Reapers to our position on this uh, in this system, didn't we? I was almost expecting that to go completely, uh, completely all the way through and just have like five Reapers. <laughs> five Reapers just come and come and murder me. Because I'm only at 20% assets recovered, and I only picked these, so this will take us to 40, which means there's three more. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is complete a mission and then come back to this system another time. <laughs> complete a mission and come back here another time. But we're getting some, we're getting some more assets. Uh, so we're at 40%, so I'm a bit worried if I... Oh, I'm going to scan and it's going to... That fucking noise, dude. Okay. In and out, baby. We're on a quick mission. We're on a quick mission to get some more assets. Remains of a Reaper Destroyer. Intel. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, and that only went up to 57%. What? Okay, so I think there's going to still be Reapers in this system, right? Oh my god, look at them! Okay. Alright, what I want to do... Actually, I need to... Actually, I, this is a bit concerning because of the amount of fuel that I have. Hmm. Hold on. Oh no, why did I start off over this side? Okay, fuck it. I have to come back later. <laughs> I have to come back later. Ah, uh, it's full. My fuel! Okay. You can't, you can't see, because of my stupid ass head being in the way, but my fuel almost ran out, I got like 200. Uh, I still got more to spot. I wonder if I could lure the, um, nice. I wonder if I could lure the, um, <laughs> Reapers into another system, or whether they just chill out and that they're probably just going to stay in that system forever. The wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy forces. 200 units of fuel, so I'm at a lovely... 429. Lovely. 100% assets. Cool. So once I complete this mission, I can go back to the Asgard system <laughs> and get those other things that I scanned for. So there's probably at least a, a good thing. What you what you can do is you can jump into a system, pulse like crazy in the whole system, uh, get all of those anomalies, and then leave when the Reapers come in, and then after a mission, you don't have to pulse anymore because you've already got everything, um, you've already got everything ready to go. That you can just, um, go into the planet's orbit and, and stuff like that. So that's cool. But it's like, that Reaper noise is terrifying. This idyllic, uh, agrarian world was one of the first human colonies established beyond the Chiron mass relay. Eden Prime's fertile biosphere drew heavy immigration from the Systems Alliance and other human organizations. In 2183, Eden Prime was attacked by a Geth force led by the rogue spectre Saren Arterius. Commander Shepard, responding to the attack, encountered a Prothean beacon that warned of imminent Reaper invasion. It is thanks to this beacon and the Commander's quick action that the galaxy has any chance of survival today. That's, you're damn right, it's only Commander Shepard because everyone else was, everyone else in the Alliance a little bit useless. Although the Reapers rushed past must of the, uh, much of the Exodus Cluster in their plan to take Earth, it is clear the war has come to Eden Prime. Distress signals have jammed all available frequencies, fires burn in vast swaths across the arable land, and its once extensive monorail system is twisted metal. Cerberus has much to lose uh, if word on their ruthless attack on the human colony gets out. What they stand to gain must be equally valuable. Okay. Let's land on Eden Prime. No mention of Nihilus, you know, no mention of our, uh, our, our lovely Spectre Nihilus in on that Eden Prime segment. <laughs> Everybody forgets about Nihilus. Squad selection. Look how cool this is. So we got more than two now. Cycle appearances, what do we got? That's fucking badass. Except you got a helmet on, bud. I like 
I like your original one. Your original one's fine. What has Edie got going? Ooh. Different headgear. I kind of wish I could see... Like, it, it's, a, it's a bit dark. Edie's a bit dark. I guess if I pick... Ah, oh, Liara's automatically coming with us, right? So if I actually select... I can see. But the problem is... I can't put Liara away... So I can have her... See, I can... You can highlight them, and then I can see exactly what their armor looks like. Well, we're bringing Garrus with us anyway. All of the... All of the additional armor set is so cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Alright, Garrus, you're coming with me and Liara. We don't have any additional weapon mods to chuck on, because this is just the ones that is for piercing. It's okay. Sniper scope and thermal clip. Hell yeah. And for your assault rifle, Garrus. Piercing. No. Okay. Looks good to me. Level up your singularity. Impact radius or hold duration. Additional enemies can be lifted before singularity fades. Um, let's do the radius, I think. What is it? 1.8. It goes up by 0.4 meters. Hmm. Yeah. I'll do that. Sweet. Let's go to Eden Prime, baby. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. I remember Eden Prime like it was yesterday. It was like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. <laughs> Sometimes I find it hard to believe you were ever in CSEC. I wanted to help people. Fortunately, you showed me how to use the direct approach. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Nice. Apologies if there was a slight echo on the dialogue there before. I just had to quickly switch over an audio setting. Because I think it was subtly coming through my speakers as well. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Codex updated. Planets and locations in Prime. Why? It can survive Saren. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Liara and Garrus and me. Mass Effect 1 squad on a Mass Effect 1 world. Love it. Let's take a look at the journal. Uh, so here we go. Mass Effect 3 from Ashes. So this is a bonus codex entry. Planets and locations. Eden Prime. In 2151, as the first anxious settlers made their way through the new Chiron mass relay, many of them wondered whether the reality of life on Eden Prime could possibly live up to the stories of pristine landscapes that drew them there. What the colonists found exceeded their expectations. The stable climate and compatible biology made the colony almost instantly viable. 
Over the next few decades, several million humans immigrated to Eden Prime and a primarily agrarian culture developed. The new colony quickly became not only self-sufficient, but began exporting goods. Chief among these were rare plants grown from Earth's many heritage seed libraries. But in 2183, the colonists faced a true test of their character. Eden Prime was attacked by the rogue spectre Saren Arterius and his Geth allies. Not long after, the Citadel was attacked by those same forces and Eden Prime's neighboring world Terra Nova found itself threatened with complete destruction. Uh, faced with such violence, a lesser citizenry might have retreated back to the safety of Earth, as so many colonists of Terra Nova did. Uh, but Eden Prime's governing body refused to give in. Not only did the colonists vote overwhelmingly to block a measure, of, uh, measure calling for the building of evacuation ships, they voted to ease restrictions on immigrants. Um, emigrants? not read that word before, from Terra Nova looking for a new home. As a result, Eden Prime's population has swelled. Whatever the war might bring, its status as a symbol of humanity's future in the stars remains unblemished. I'm pretty sure Terra Nova was the one with the asteroid uh, from Mass Effect 1 DLC, right? Uh, asteroid X57, which is in the Asgard system, which we were just in, which is cool. Uh, and technology, Prothean Beacon. In 2183, human scientists uncovered a Prothean technological artifact on the planet of Eden Prime. While repelling an attack by Saren Arterius' Geth allies, Commander Shepard's squad came into the artifact's proximity and set it off. The object, described as a beacon, sent the commander jumbled sounds and images intended to warn of the imminent Reaper invasion. The beacon overloaded during the process and violently exploded. While the vision it provided was dismissed by the Citadel Council as a highly subjective experience, since that time the Council's Committee on Paleo Technology have analysed the fragments of the beacon in an effort to understand how it communicated. Oops. Uh, what they found was not quite the telepathic technology that the Alliance Marines described in their reports. The beacon was equipped with a Mass Effect field generator to hold its subject immobile. A necessary step to minimize collateral damage during the rest of the process. The beacon then nearly ins uh, instantaneously scanned the structure of its target's optic and auditory nerves as well as many parts of the brains responsible for memory. Once its expert system determined the proportions of these key features, the beacon stimulated them with pinpoint electromagnetic and other irradiated, um, irradiative energy using powerful programs to recreate any images or sound the beacon required. In principle, this was similar to the popular entertainment device known as SimStim, but vastly more comprehensive. SimStims direct the senses, not memory. The Normandy's medical officer noted that the beacon delivered more information over the space of seconds than a SimStim could do in hours and managed to do so to a species whose physiology was completely unknown to its designers. To a paleotech, the fact that Commander Shepard needed assistance to decipher the message is a minor footnote compared to the Protheans' accomplishment, getting any of the message to Shepard at all. Interesting, so we know how the Prothean beacon actually works. It scans its target before like attempting to relay like the information to it, which is very which is very interesting. It's weird to be back. It's weird to be back on Eden Prime. And it was cool to bring Garrus along because we get more Garrus dialogue when we were on the actual ship along with, with Liara. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. <laughs> so that updates in here. Eden Prime resistance movement. Okay, so that's another thing. The colonists of Eden Prime are fighting the Cerberus occupation. Help the resistance movement by getting them Cerberus intel. Okay. Yeah, make sure we have a good look around before we uh, move on. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up, uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? 
No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, that's cool. So you can get to points where the um, they'll highlight something with the with the right stick and have some conversation, which is cool. Um, I believe we're down to the dig site. There's a lot to there's a lot to check out, so I just want to make sure that I'm actually there. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Not missing anything. As much as possible. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos, but this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What? What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. That sounds too friendly. No, that's so good. That's literally what we're trying to achieve. Wow. And the Reapers just messed it all up. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. This could be what we need to finish the Prothean device. An actual Prothean, yeah. If a single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Oh no. Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh. Jesus. I went, oh no. I went, oh no, because I was just like, Liargos could be like the, the, the most, the best scientist or like a really wise counselor. I'm like, we'll open it and he'll be like, yeah, I just kind of stumbled into this whole pod here. What are you guys doing? I just had a really good nap. <laughs> and it's just like, uh, for, <laughs> just like a, just like the bottom tier Prothean. Just like, yeah, I just found this comfy bed. I just thought I'd take a nap. What's going on? <laughs> I'm actually so curious though, like, I can't wait to find out what that's going to be about. Garrus, I need armor piercing ammo, why can't I do it? Alright, I'll just do this instead. Nemesis. I need an opportunity to get close. I can't charge from this far and my shields are just going down straight away. Garrus, can you do a thing where you can concussive shot, please? Oh no, you've already done it. Cool. Can you do that? Thank you. Why can't... Oh, I just realized what I've done. Hang on. 
I took charge. Oh no, charge is on LB. Where the hell is my charge ability? There we go. Oh. Technical difficulties with my abilities there. Alright, let's get moving before more of them come back. A nemesis. hell happened here? Uh, so we've got to find the pod data. Interesting. So we've taken the... Okay, we've taken the elevator across, I see. So we're in a new location. Um, someone mentioned to me... Um, by the way, it was my... Uh, my lovely my lovely mods let me know uh, that I've had a few... had quite a few comments about difficulty. <laughs> and that apparently the normal difficulty in this game is like the veteran difficulty in the previous games. And we're playing on... what are we playing on? We're play, we, we still chose to play on Hardcore. So I think Hardcore is uh, still... is above what we've been playing on in previous games. I think we've been doing okay. I've, I've died a couple of times, but I think, uh, I think I've been able to adjust and scale up to this difficulty just fine. So we'll, we'll keep it at that. We'll keep it at that. I do need to... I do need to get a handle on the oh, ladder. Being able to sprint. It's just its just hard when I'm trying to sprint and also use my right stick to check out stuff. On the Got it. Why did I cast Singularity? Who knows? It, yeah, it's a mistake. Oh god. Oh, I did try and dodge. I dodge rolled right into a wall. Okay, let me let me change this. I want to have my shotgun have armor piercing, so Garrus, let's uh go. So we started here, we can go over there and check in this room, and we can also go down there. Those turrets are no joke. The turrets are stronger. The turrets are stronger than normal enemies. Like normal enemies actually can can go down quite easily. Those turrets shred you. So I need to focus on the turrets. Oh, they didn't even do anything! Signal. 
Okay, cool. Let's check around before we go where we need to go. Yeah, those turrets are no joke. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Look at this, like, I, I actually like the amount of effort that they've gone to to really kind of like flesh out some of these places that look like homes. They're nice. I mean, they're still, uh, you know, this is a human colony first, so it makes sense that they've still got the, the same old sort of kitchen aesthetic. But it's... <laughs> can't get better than that. So that turret, huh? <laughs> that turret. Death by death by turrets and nothing else in this game. All right, how about we take out the turret first? They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold; it's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Affirmative. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot I don't have a shockwave on my LB. Okay, cool. So there's two two amounts of pod data. Lovely. Um, the goddamn uh, being a vanguard in Mass Effect 3 is so insanely satisfying. Like, I'm glad that I finally put a point into put some points into Nova because like doing the like doing the charge, doing the charge, and then doing a Nova. And then also just going, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I love being able to do all of that, do all of that together. Let's check out what's on the roof, because I've seen a couple of ladders. <laughs> Nothing. Can we get up there? I'd honestly be happy if like the the sprint was almost just like the the sprint was almost just like the default like running speed or like a nice happy medium. I'd accept that if they wanted to do that. Cause this feels too slow, and this feels just fine. Ooh, they've gotten rid of hacking and they've turned it to that. They've gotten rid of hacking when you bypass a door. That's cool. Saves time, I guess. Okay, let's get our first lot of pod data.
Oh! These are Protheans versus Collectors. Collectors that are like Protheans that have already been. Protheans that have already been converted. Wow. They got four eyes like the collectors. That's how I was just like, ooh, Protheans. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Third of our people. Alert, broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. I Holy think shit. I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Wow. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Dude. All right, we know where the remaining data is because we just had that before. That's insane. The Protheans look cool, so they just look like less fucked up versions of the Collectors. As soon as I saw them, I was like, okay, I can see that. Good, that's like a good translation of um, what, a, what a Prothean looks like, because like it's not surprising. Once you've seen the Collectors, you're like, oh, yeah, there you go. They're, they're, quite, they're quite similar. The Collectors are way more like, way more like uh, in the direction of being like insect-like. A hive mind and they, they they had like biotic powers but it was like green they look cool though so I, when I saw like Shepard's eyes was doing like a weird thing I was like that's interesting I was like and that's because she can see she can read all of this stuff that's amazing Yeah, so for, for them it's just static. Is this so is this on Ilos then? Won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. Oh. No. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. We know. We know that that's not going to happen. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. I had no idea that they would have been using um, collectors this early, though. Wow. You understood that one, too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans used to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. <sighs> Can we just take a moment to just realize how absolutely crazy this is? This is so significant. Um, is victory... Uh, Victory's not the same VI that we spoke to when we were on Ilos, was it? Um, I have actually forgotten the name of the, the VI. 
because namings. Uh, Vigil. Okay, so we so Vigil is the Prothean VI that we spoke to on Ilos. And this one's called Victory. So I guess like maybe it's like another another one. And we know that what Vigil was telling us that uh, I guess to like keep himself going, keep the power on, he had to sacrifice a lot of those Protheans that were in pods over time, which is such a shame. Uh, so just like having them talk about that. So that must that I assume that must have been I lost. Those are like those um, big long hallways that we were driving down in the in the in the Mako. God damn! But I didn't think they would be using collectors that early. I thought that collectors would have come from after that attack, like they would have harvested all those Protheans and then converted them into the collectors and then used them later. But it seemed that they were already they already had collectors ready to go um, to fight against themselves. The, but before they were converted to Protheans, that's uh, converted from Protheans. Oh, that was the wrong ability. Oh, not the turret. Not the turret! Take out those combat engineers first and foremost, because they're the ones that keep doing the turrets. Classic, still got the old use pull as soon as you exit the uh, ability will routine. Do. Turrets are the true final boss of Mass Effect. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to get armor piercing ammo. Says this weapon is already using it. I don't have any. I don't have any armor piercing ammo. Oh, cool. And now it will let me. Cool. Now I've got armor piercing ammo. Ah, these turrets are so unreasonably strong. The turrets are so unreasonably strong compared to everything else. That's wild. I've got the signal the Protheans used to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Like, that's actually insane. We need to open the pod. <laughs> Backup forces are here. Do the turrets better this time. So I'll go around this side. Right away. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, <laughs> hey Garrus. There we go. I can shoot it through this object. God damn it. I have to cheese the I have to cheese the turrets because they're so fucked. Are we good? Yeah, one turret on its own is crazy. Having two of them, my god. Alright, I think we are good. We have to find another way across. Hmm. I mean, we'll just wait for an enemy to spawn and they'll charge over to them. Find another way to the pod. Can we look over this side? <clears throat> Find another way! Okay. Any hints? Surely there must, like, surely there must be, like, controls over this side for the bridge as well. Like, why would you only put the controls over one side? And this is the problem that I have with the with sprinting is I need to run faster and look around but it doesn't really allow me to look around that much while I'm sprinting I could be running right past the answer just run around until some dialogue triggers I guess run further in the opposite direction but I'm already at the end here Anyone got a jetpack? We've been out here, that was just to get some stuff. This. I don't think going up on the rooftops had anything, but let's try again. Can we like leap across like a... Alright, that just takes us to that. Like a ledge that we can leap across? Why do I have zero guidance here? Okay. Find another way to the pod. Like, why can't I do this? This is so strange. Oh my god. Come on, man. It's not... It could be like... It could have a character go, Look! Over there! <laughs> like... Instead of having me like, roam around the place. Hoping to figure it out. Okay, game. Thank you. Ooh. Smooth moves. Like, it's just like, a waste of time. <laughs> it's just like... Makes it like needless, needlessly drawn out for no reason. All right, let's see if we get this pod open because this is insane, and I really hope that we open this pod and it's not like one of those burnt ones, like um, uh, like in the cutscene that we just watched in the past. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process. Oh no! Defend the life pod. Yep. <laughs> forces inbound. Looks yep. Like we've got a siege on our hands. Defend the life pod. <laughs> Not the ladder, Shepard! You're supposed to hide into cover! <laughs> You're supposed to hide behind those barrels. Shepard! Get 
According to the singularity, babies. Doing singularity on a dropship is so stupid. That's busted. So Shepard, when you try to charge and it doesn't work, she no longer spams. Uh, can't target them. She just doesn't say anything. I was like, Shepard, please. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. <laughs> uh. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. Okay. I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Look at you guys go. I'm proud of you. There we go. Heavy mech, don't let it get close. Ooh, Atlas! What the hell is that? Oh, that's a rocket. Okay, you lay down that singularity. We are at there. You go. The problem with getting hit and getting stunned is you can't actually do anything, and then you're dead. Right, you... How did... Okay, Liara put it down in the perfect spot. There we go. Singularity right there. Deal. Kind of in a corner here. Uh, yep. And then we do a bit of this. Got it. Oh, my barriers are for my barriers are for nothing. My barriers are for nothing in that moment. Okay. Singularity, right there. There you go. You. Means to use pull. Shepard, get inside. Oh, there's a lot of people inside.
the f God damn that our Atlas mech is insane. <laughs> the weight better be worth it, Jesus Christ. That Atlas mech's insane. Alright, let's take a look. There, you've got it. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Commander Javik. A few hundred people. A commander. To rebuild an empire from that. Further adjustments may be necessary. The neutron purge compromised the facility. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. You will remain in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Will be triaged appropriately. Yeah. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. Commander Jarek. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Dude! Oh my god! We have a Prothean... Commander Jack, who's literally alive and well. Maybe a little bit unhappy. This is, ex this is like, the best thing that we need to combat the Reaper threat. Oh man. Hey, we're building a Prothean artifact. You're a Prothean. Oh, bet the Reapers weren't expecting this one, baby. Oh, wow. This is so, this is so fascinating. This is so fascinating. I'm like blown away by this. Your people did everything they could and never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari, human, Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. Huh. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. I do not understand what that is. <laughs> I do not handshake. I don't know what that is. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. 
We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Wow. Dude. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. And he's like, we've got, I'm surrounded by primitives, because in his time, 50,000 years ago, that would have been the case. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Got a bit of a texture glitch happening. What do you mean, assume hostility? Chill the fuck but out. not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. Yeah. You guys, you guys... Oh, I, obviously it was Cerberus compared to the Alliance, so it's going to be a little different, but I was like, guys, we were much more lax with Legion, of all people. There was one guard. I had one Cerberus guard in that AI call with Legion. You, we could settle down with a Prothean, I think. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in yourselves, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... Oh, man. You found oh. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? Oh. It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Prothean squad mate. Oh man, I what I find absolutely amazing about each Mass Effect sequel and what we've had is they they really just find a way to just up the ante 
in such extreme in such extreme ways from whether it be the events that are taking place that are massive to the squad mates that we get the people that we come across the things that we learn legion flips everything upside down when you come across uh when you come across him and you get such a such a new understanding of the geth by being able to communicate to one a mass effect 3 almost right from the get-go is like hey here's a goddamn Prothean in a stasis pod and now we can learn about the Protheans um, and have all of that fleshed out and this is like Liara's dream this is Liara's dream to be like there's a living breathing Prothean right in front of me like this is so cool nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact I do Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. <laughs> I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? <laughs> so Asari in Pro this uh, Prothean's time, like you said, the primitive species, and humans would have been at the very, very back end of that. Like Turians and Asari would have come first, but the um, the humanity aspect of that right on the end. But wow! And I knew that Liara was going to take this opportunity. Um, something's weird been happening in the. If you look on the the right hand side and the bottom of the border, this happened in Mass Effect Two slightly on the right hand side, but the cutscenes like glitch. There's like weird visual glitches in Mass Effect cutscenes. I don't know if that's a Legendary Edition bug or whether that was always there but uh, in the original games, but it's uh, slightly annoying to see. And there was like that weird texture pattern glitch in the background as well, um, which was unfortunate. But this is, I just like, this is amazing. Like actually speaking to a Prothean and being able to see what they can do and how they communicate and all that stuff. I mean, this guy's a little bit rude, but he's also our last chance to figure out this Prothean device, even though he doesn't know anything about it because he's like i am embodiment of vengeance we've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have it was common among my people imparting experience through touch the chemistry of life complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds that sounds very useful we evolved as hunters reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Wow. That's incredible. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps- Settle down. Settle down. Right now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. 
The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. God damn. Yeah, Liara's just like, Liara, one question at a time, Liara. One question at a time. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Um, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, Prothean. Yeah, you it kind of sounds like you're a bit similar to the Reapers. We ruled the galaxy. Everything was initially considered like cold Prothean. Uh, don't Reapers do that? <laughs> don't Reapers do that? That sounds not very nice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Wow. So like they had like they were like, we we need to win and beat the beat the machines. And then before they were even like oh like born essentially, the Reapers just come in and just like, hello, what's up? Slightly concerning though, I'm sure that you didn't like the Protheans maybe didn't have to do such an extreme way of of doing things there's like they there's like a full mass effect uh prequel game that they could make here like that could be like amazing to be like all the way like 50,000 years ago um which be which would be so interesting to see back on Eden Prime it looked like there were other stasis pods what happened the empire had fallen and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Wow. So, I'm assuming on Ilos, these stasis pods, they were locked into stasis and then they were sent away, because otherwise, you know, how would they end up on Eden Prime? So there were stasis pods that were then sent away. Unless that planet, like that flashback, was not on Ilos, and Ilos had v uh, Vigil as their VI, and then maybe this victory one was on Eden Prime? I'm trying to piece together these these things as I'm taking in this information. But uh, either everything was on Ilos and then these stasis pods got sent away and they ended up on Eden Prime, or that was the Reaper fight on Eden Prime and Protheans were on that planet as well, which I think makes the most sense. Um, and then the stasis pods were just, you know, buried underneath there. And Victory was a VI on that one, and that's why it wasn't like Vigil or something like that. I think that makes sense. I was just looking at those those hallways uh, that they were fighting in looked very familiar to the ones on Ilos, so that's why I was a, a bit confused. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. 
Interesting. Um, you know, we need to unite the whole galaxy. We need to unite all the species, but probably in a way that we can, you know, still retain our identity. You know, not have everyone identify as Prothean, which is what uh, Jarek was saying. Um, all right, Prothean device, Prothean war with Weeper, Reapers. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. And it's just a Prothean Reaper. <laughs> what can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Oh, here we go. We met Vigil on Ilos. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. Ah. Uh. said we had cities there built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel was captured long before I was born. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. They would have been on Eden Prime. That was all on Eden Prime. Uh, and he didn't know about Ilos. There you go. I get my answer. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet. City by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. Mm. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Yeah, that's cool. So we can still have like all these unique approaches and tactics and things that all, all of the different cultures of the galaxy understand to come together to confuse the Reapers, which is, which is great. All right, we've checked everything. We good. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. <laughs> oh. To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> oh, cool. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Dude, Prothean squad mate, what the hell? I love how they just like they really they really just throw you these absolute curveballs where they're like, oh, Geth squad mate, wouldn't that be cool? What about a Prothean one? Next up, Reaper squad mate. <laughs> I got a Reaper squad mate. A little tiny one. So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. Look at this, like... What is this as technology? It's water? L liquid technology. Yeah, what the hell is going on here? This is really interesting. Protheans fascinate me, dude. And they always have since the since the beginning. And the fact that we're actually able to talk to one 
is wild. I mean, it's unfortunate that we've we've got a fighter and not a and not a scientist, but goddamn. All right. Well, and I'd like the fact that he can like touch the environment and be like, uh, yeah, there was a very powerful Krogan that used to that used to chill out here. God, that's so insane. So we're, start, we're starting to get some get some squad mates in in different parts of the ship that we used to have other people in. Uh, I guess we'll have a talk to talk to people that we can. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in fifty thousand years that I can in no way talk about? Say so yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. <laughs> the biggest story in fifty thousand years that I can't talk about. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automat on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Get off my ship! What the hell? I guess this is the trial run thing, right? Even though I haven't even been able to see the results of stuff yet. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay. Sure. No worries. She's just chilling out. Like... How funny, like, if you would have told me, oh, yeah, if you, like, remember Zaid's quarters with the garbage place in Mass Effect 2? Yeah, that's going to be a, that's, in Mass Effect 3, it's going to be a spot for a news reporter. I'd be like, oh. Why? <laughs> How? Don't you dare. They're everywhere. You just get taken, too. I can't just sit here doing nothing. Stay with me. Run. Get out of there. You can make it. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Damn. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. Damn. Like, even just, like, you just walk into an area and, like, your, like, other just, like, crewmates that aren't, like, your main characters and, like, your main squad mates, like, they're all living, breathing people in this world that are all being affected by this devastation. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Can I interact with this dog at all yet? Stay there. Oh, okay. Can I only interact with the dog once a once a okay, once every time I come back onto the ship? <laughs> I still can't believe it, a real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. He could say that. I hear the guy's not all there, exactly. Damn, <laughs> I can't imagine. Brought forward fifty thousand years, last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. I'll bet the elusive man's boiling in his brandy right about now. Took that Prothean right out from under him. Yeah, legit. Hey. 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 
Hey. Hey. Um, yeah, especially if he knew that we actually woke up the woke up the damn thing. That would have been a very interesting um, experience if um, if it was the elusive man that got his hands on a Prothean instead. Oh, nobody's in there yet. This is, see, this is the part where I am reminded, by the way, that I'm like, when we go to an elevator, it's really nice when it tells me who's where, because then I forget. So no one's in here anymore because Edie's upstairs, Liara's in there, Garrus is in here. Like, if a squad mate's in their old location, like Garrus, then obviously I'm going to know. Hey, bud. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. Talking Reaper, talking plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing, waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I will ever get a second chance against the Reapers. I think the talking plant was the, uh, the thing on Pharos, wasn't it, from Mass Effect 1? What do you suppose the Prothean eats? What if it's boiled Asari with a side of fried Turian? I don't know about Liara, but I'm not taking that one for the team. <laughs> if this war goes south, maybe we could freeze you for 50,000 years, Shepard. You could go from being merely famous to legendary. Could you imagine? So who needs their ass kicked now? <laughs> He's got so much more to say just in this type of dialogue. So who needs their ass kicked now? That's better than, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Incredible. All right, let's see if we can talk to the uh... Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Ooh, oh yes, yeah, so this is what I found on when I was doing scanning, and we can go back I can go back to that system now. Remains of a Reaper destroyer to avoid the risk of indoctrination, remote drones have been sent to study the salvaged remains of a Reaper destroyer. The drones can dig under the outer hole, scanning circuits for technology that will increase the speed at which tech, biotic, and combat abilities can be fired. Alternatively, the council was offered a citadel wide merchant discount for choosing the safer option. Oh. Oh. So drones can dig under scanning circuits, increase the speed at which abilities can be fired, but alternatively, the council has offered a citadel-wide merchant discount for choosing the safer option and demolishing the remains. A 5%? Get out of here. Take the power cooldown bonus. Goddamn council, they annoy me. <laughs> Destroy it! How dare we research something that could help us? We'll give you a discount at our citadel stores. Okay. Prothean notes, 2186, entry 1. These thing, the things this Prothean must have seen, if they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd. There's so much he could tell us. Hello again. Okay. I miss being able to, like, after a mission, go into a dialogue wheel. Hello again. But that's okay. It seems that they're very, like, they've made the, co uh, the dialogue and conversations much more straightforward and simplified. Uh, so instead of opening up all the dialogue wheels and having to, like, repeat things or, like, investigate and it's stuff you've already spoken about, it just gives you new dialogue in, like, uh, an automated conversation, uh, which is, like, it has its benefits, but, like, um, there's less choice involved in that, you know? Commander, you have an encrypted message from a Miranda Lawson. Wow. Hello. Hello. Colonists on Eden Prime. Oh! First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. How's your neck? <laughs> Our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Uh, 
Uh, trainer, how's your neck there? You good? Yeah, you just literally went, Hey, come on, Shepard! <laughs> Meet me on the cit- everyone on the citadel. Commander, I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you, keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel by Bay D24. Miranda. Everyone on the Citadel, huh? I'm surprised Miranda was even able to get onto the Citadel on her own, considering um, the affiliation with Cerberus. I know that she's no longer with Cerberus, but um, considering what we did with the Elusive Man. But still... So a Prothean, a real live Prothean, has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing <laughs> there may have been some bouncing. Ah, I'm bouncing at the moment, Jesus. Commander? Commander? How's our new visitor adjusting to the ship, Edie? He appears not to understand the human custom of separate sex restroom facilities. I am attempting to enlighten him. I will update you if there is positive progress. <laughs> well, how about you just update me if he doesn't get the message? Very well. <laughs> like how whatever Shepard would walk in, Edie was like, Shepard, uh, wrong, wrong one. That's, that's a great follow-up to that. Hello, Shepard. Wonderful. Okay. So we get, we get a little bit of dialogue here and there. Where are we? Oh. Can open the airlock. Okay. Interesting. It's like, why can we open the airlock? Are we in space right now? <laughs> we just like, get sucked out. Cool. Uh, we can go back to the galaxy map and check out some stuff. I'm just like processing a lot of this information. Maybe I'll go back to the war room. It's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. I'll check out the war room, speak with um, Victus. Oh, where's Victus? Yes, where's Victus gone? Like he's he's taking a nap somewhere, I guess. Okay, Victus is not here. Why? Okay. All right, let's have a look. Alliance. What have we got? Alliance Spec Ops Team Delta. Cool. Alliance Cruiser Shanghai. Eden Prime support. A few researchers who studied Prothean technology and Eden Prime avoided capture by Cerberus. They forwarded copies of their work to the Alliance. Nice. Uh, Crucible. Prothean data files. These Prothean disks were found years ago in Eden Prime, recovered a few months ago before the discovery of the Prothean beacon in 2183. Um, nice. The Crucible's blueprints provided the key to understanding the equations. Theories on dark matter meant to be used with the Crucible's main power source. Cool. Lovely. Um, can't use that. All right. Uh, Victus has, uh, he's just stepped out for a moment. Okay. So we can't talk to him at this point in time. Great. Um, I will take a little bit of a break myself uh, and then we'll be taking a look. Um, I might need to go back to Eden Prime to do this resistance movement um that we with the with the intel and then i might do this we'll do the shrike abyssal so we can get that obelisk and then we'll go to the citadel commander shepherd where apparently everyone and their mother wants to speak to us there so it's, uh, it's certainly certainly just a, a little tiny bit of a, of a meeting point and um, we can get some we can get some updates on new and old faces um it's it's so interesting that Ari is there and Miranda's there and Caden's there and Thane is there and <laughs> everyone. I mean, I'll take a quick break and then we'll uh, we'll proceed with uh, the Shrike Abyssal mission. All right, to the galaxy map we go. Um, hmm. Can we not land on Eden Prime again? Apparently not. Apparently we can't land on Eden Prime again. But we have a journal entry of Eden Prime resistance movement. 
The colonists of Eden Prime are fighting the service occupation, helped the resistance movement getting them service intel. But we weren't even able to... There was no part of that mission where we, like, got to meet up with any colonists. We just did the whole thing. We busted him out of the stasis pod. And uh, then we left. Interesting. All right. Well, guess that mission isn't happening anytime soon. Uh, so we can't, we can't go into Eden Prime. So I'll go back to Asgard now, instead. Oh, I'm not going to make that trip. I do not have enough fuel for that. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Can we just upgrade our Normandy so I don't even have to have any fuel? <laughs> do I have to have any fuel? We just like operate off of operate off of anything else as a fuel source instead. Um, there is no fuel here. Get me out of here. I would have thought there might have been fuel there. Maybe the Anos Basin has a fuel station. I think if fuel stations are rare and in not every system, that they should probably highlight that as well on the map with a fuel station. Ah, uh, there we go. Fuel depot. We got some diplomatic ships. Buy some fuel, thank you. See if I can scan anything out here as well. Um, and now, let me go back to Exodus Cluster. And everything that we scanned before should be there, and then we'll go to the Shrike Abyssal. Tia, start the scanner. What you got for me? Ooh. Alliance Naval Exploration Flotilla. And fuel. So there was fuel in this station. Nice. 100% of assets recovered. Let's get out of here. And the Reapers were none the wiser. <laughs> cool, so Exodus Cluster has been completed. Shrike Abyssal time. I wonder if there'll be a point where maybe you can go back to... Let me go back to Eden Prime? With this intel? Or maybe we just deliver it to someone elsewhere and then it, and it goes to them? Maybe I can like send it to them from somewhere? Otherwise it feels weird that the mission would still be available and it wouldn't just like automatically fail or something. Um, okay, let's have a look. I guess maybe I need to be in another system, in Earl of Rust. I found something. Oh, there we go. Oh, Reaper alertness. May as well do it while I'm here. Credits recovered. Fifty percent. Okay, we can. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Quickly, find something. No, oh, there it is. Quick, <laughs> quick. Fuel. Run. I just realized that we're kind of screwed. Reapers eluded. Because I have to go back into that system to get to the mass relay. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, Signal confirmed. Okay. Oh, uh, Reapers. Just trying to get a Prothean Obelisk, guys. Come on. Yay! We got it. Prothean Obelisk. Um. Get out of the system! Bastard we didn't. Light jump successful. Okay, we couldn't find whatever the hell 
was waiting for us in there. I'm gonna have to wait. Quick! Okay, how the hell are we gonna do this? How the hell are we gonna do this? Ooh! No! <laughs> oh, the tension! Okay, we got the artifact. Now we can go back to the Citadel and meet with literally everyone. Let's do that. Maybe if we land on the Citadel, that should be like an automatic like refuel <laughs> of everything. There we go. Let's dock into the Citadel. Oh, you can choose. We'll start at the Alliance docks because Miranda's here. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action. The Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission. Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Ooh, and then the private transport can take us to places. Now, we'll walk around. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Cute. Okay, so I'm assuming in this waiting area... Oh, I don't see any Miranda in the waiting area. Alright, let's have a look. Because we're in D24, right? Ah, there she is. Shepard, over here. Ah! Hello. Commander Shepard. It's been far too long. She's changed from Alliance, uh, from Cerberus Colors. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Yeah, she's changed her colors from Cerberus to, like, Alliance colors. She had the blue going on. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay, I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Okay. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. <laughs> I'm in hiding, and therefore I showed up in the exact same outfit with a few changes and no attempt at disguising myself in the Citadel, <laughs> where eyes are everywhere. Cerberus spies could even be on the Citadel. 
If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. There'd probably be some some low-key Cerberus spies here though, I think. It's always possible. Cerberus is everywhere. I've gotta get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Uh-huh. Be careful. No promises. <laughs> okay. Miranda's not coming back then. Miranda's not coming back. But she's gonna she's just gonna chill out. Let's upgrade Nova. I think I wanna do Ooh, this one's tough. Uh, it's 1.6 meters, but that's a decent upgrade on damage and force. We'll go for that. Nice. Recharge speed of all powers by 25%. And use Nova two times in a row. I think we'll do the recharge when we get to it. I think even when I when I reassign my powers, it depends on it depends on how many levels we can level up. But I might even start taking away from either. Sh I think pull's really good. I might take away from Shockwave to max out having just like three main abilities. But we'll see how we go. Codex entry for Miranda. Dr. K Miranda Lawson is a high-ranking former Cerberus operative and a human biotic. Lawson headed Project Lazarus, the Cerberus operation that brought Commander Shepard back from the brink of death after the first Normandy was destroyed. Lawson is herself an example of the achievements possible through genetic engineering. She was created in 2150 through manipulation of her father's DNA. Her entire physical and mental composition was deliberately engineered, including a longer lifespan and a superior immune system. Lawson accompanied Commander Shepard on the maiden voyage of the Normandy SR2 and was part of the crew responsible for the defeat of the Collectors. She has since left Cerberus. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Doctor um, interesting. So Miranda's doing her own thing. So she's not, doesn't look like, uh, doesn't look like Miranda's coming back to, to the Normandy, like the good old days, instead. So that's, that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, we've got Commander Bailey, Udina, Diplomat, John Dumbell, the Embassy Officers, Thanes in the hospital, and Arya, and James is in the lower bar, so we can go to we can go to Purgatory now. So it's actually opened up a new area, so that's cool. So as we progress through the game, it looks like we've actually gotten. Damn, <gasps> Kelly, Kelly's here too, and Garrus. So when we land, when that's actually so cool. So when the Normandy lands, people of our squad, like James and that, and like Garrus, they'll go out into the Citadel, and you can you can chat with them. That's awesome. So instead of bringing a squad to the Citadel. You, everyone can just be out, chilling out, and then you get dialogue with them. That's awesome. So, Citadel gets bigger, uh, I guess, maybe the more you progress or the more that unlocks. So, Kelly's here, Garrus is here, Liara is chilling out, Edie and Joker, Edie and Joker are on a date, clearly, at the markets. James, Arya, there's so many people. All right. Um, I think, I think... With, if that's the case, <laughs> I think if that's the case, uh, what I'll probably be doing is we I will save uh, the I uh, will save some of the exploration for next time, but we'll do we'll do some this time and a bit more next time, and then we'll jump into doing some some missions. So let's start off where we are now. We'll head on through to the Citadel embassies, and then go through to the hospital, and then we'll do Purgatory Commons in the holding area. We'll do that. Uh, next time, but we will remain. We will remain in the citadel, so we can make sure that we can get, uh, we can get all of this done. Otherwise, we'll uh, there'll probably be enough dialogue to keep us here forever, and then we can move into some more missions. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Again, perfect opportunity here to have list of people to speak to on this list. I think would be great. Thank you. Uh, so, if you have a question, please consult an Avena terminal for assistance. Oh, good. Well, let's go to the let's go to the Memorial Hospital One first. Moment, uh, do. Do. Hospital. 
and then we'll do the embassies. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I... There's so many... So much speaking going on right now. Alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Hey! Dr. Dr. Ravin, guess what I've got for you? I found this metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Metagel, that's good for the Hanar, and it also uh, included Drell in the war asset that we just got. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course. We'll be happy to send you one. Just as we sent one to every pharmaceutical company in Citadel space. Good. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. <coughs> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic and intensive care. I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. Appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Man, I, th I don't think Thane's coming back either. Oh, man. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Wow. That's so sad. Think about if Shepard pursued the romance option with Thane as well. Like, this would be even harder for her. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Um, that's This is tough. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. His my son. son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. That's this is so sad. But his his repaired his relationship with his son, Quinton Flynn, comes and visits him regularly. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. It, it this is worded differently this time, I think. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. As a result. As for my brain. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Perhaps we will keep up via the ex. It's nice that they're giving us closure, or at least like up like more contact with these characters that we formed relationships with in 
that we formed for. Ah! I'm moonwalking! Stop! I'm trying to talk about something emotional. Jesus. Um. I'm distracted now. What the f Um, it's good that it's giving us, like, closure and, like, opportunities to actually talk to people that we formed relationships with in Mass Effect 2 and it, and it really is like laying that on and just like yeah like your squad in Mass Effect 2 is massive and if you've got more people and new people on your team again like James and Cade and Liara's back on your squad uh we've looks like we've got a Prothean uh Commander Jarek you can't have 20 people to choose from it's too it's it's too much and I and I do get that but it's also just like it's such a shame that it's like in each game you form these bonds and then it's it's at least it's good that the characters like still remain and it makes sense for Thane years ago man I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed he can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is trust me in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. What? That's interesting. Also, the voice of this hospital uh, visitor is um, the voice of Hera Syndulla in Star Wars Rebels, which is very interesting. I can't remember her. Um, I can't remember her actual name. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. What did we just do here? <laughs> okay. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? How is Caden doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but we've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already... With a center of this size, you must... We've got 12 full... It can be overwhelming. Quite different oh. from my... Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. I got that stuff from her before, so that's all good. Uh, so, Dr. Michelle, Thane, and Caden. Right, so we'll go speak to Caden now. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. We can go to the Grissom Academy and get that for you. No, it won't connect. It says... I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. He's bedridden. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? Oh, it was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Oh. Uh. Thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell the... I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I mean, Doc... Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little... rattled. So Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. 
That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? Well, I mean, I was fine with you, but you were the one who was being a being a butthole. <laughs> Then, like, the, the thing is, like, the reason why I t we took so much uh, of an issue and, and being annoyed at how he was conducting himself around Shepard with all of the distrust was there were people above him, like, countless people above him that are all just, like, on our side and understand what's going on. Uh, and he was the only one being like, I'm like, you were personally under my command, sir. We had a we had a good connection. You You knew who I was. You know me. There are people who don't know me that are like, hell yeah. So it was, it was, you know. And we are, we are good now because he seems to be. He's, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, Doctor Eva knocked some sense into him, <laughs> rattled those biotics, and he went, you know what? My head's been screwed on tightly now. We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air. Yeah, you know I'm. I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Good. So this is this this fixes things because he's like, I was wrong about you, which is good. And he was right about Cerberus, which is also good. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Kaden, you just mind if I just fucking... <laughs> what the fuck is going on in the Citadel, dude? The goddamn bottle that we got him is just floating in the air. Oh, can't do that again. Hey, uh, Kaden, I got you this cool, fancy wine bottle. It levitates, too. Well, that's... Uh, I guess that's the thing that we bought before, and I didn't know... Uh what it was going to be used for. I was like, maybe we'll give it to Dr. Chakwas again. Something else, Trevor? Uh, let's talk. Now that I've finished dancing all over your bedridden body, uh, let's have a chat. You've been injured. Sure you went right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. The future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard, to save at least a few lives. Give me the update, the Major. <laughs> major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a Spec Ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... We're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs taking red sand. But I don't have to tell you that. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's Fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. <laughs> are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. You're still holding on to that one, aren't you? Still holding on to that one, aren't you, Caden? Um, that's slightly concerning, don't you think? Doctor's like, oh yeah, here, take this. You'll be fine. 
And then Dr. Sang is ready to go, but then it's like, oh, wait, we've got to run some more tests. And she's fascinated by the implants. I don't know. That's the... That's like a little... I'm a little concerned about that one. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope... Huh, I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. You said your implant got rattled. Everything oh, good? The, di the dialogue has switched. Uh, found a great doc. The head answer the... is bad. But my biology... Why does it do that? Maybe you have. <laughs> you... It was Ken we talked about Horizon. This, I don't understand what it is when this has happened in Mass Effect, where sometimes you'll pick a dialogue option and it flips all of the... and it changes the position of all of them. I'm like, why does it do that? Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. I'd like to move past the harsh words and be friends. At least. So, how do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. You were standing right in front of me, and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I... I think that's how we get past Horizon. What's weird is like it feels like this this that dialogue and this this conversation should have happened before Caden then was like hey are we good for everything blah 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 like because now it just feels like we've we've literally gone yeah we're good everything's fine we'll we'll move past it you know we've been through a lot together and then we have a dialogue option that's like hey how do we move past this it feels like weirdly out of place I should probably get going thanks for coming by take care Caden. Lovely. Okay. You enjoy your floating bottle of wine, sir. Or is it whiskey, I think? Um, and I think that was all of the... That was all of the... The clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. They're still talking about that leg, huh? It's been a while since we've... Since we were last here. <laughs> They're still talking about that leg. That man's going to be in that bed for a while. But, great. Cool. That is the... Those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I feel like there's a bunch of stuff that we're going to be able to find on planets that we can bring back here. Yep, there you go. So here's my frontier. This Asari wants stuff from Grism Academy. So you find stuff, you bring them back here, and then everybody can actually have some stuff that improves things, which is great. So that just ends up opening a bunch of stuff, yep, in the Citadel uh, to do, which is great. Um, that's the Atlas and the Nemesis that we took on. Good. All right, we're going to head to the Citadel embassies now. Talk to those people. Uh, whoever's waiting for us in there, and then we will finish up this episode and get re to the rest rest of the conversations uh, next time, and we've got a bunch of side missions on, on hand. Okay, so I think the Volus was here. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Nice. Well, we, just as you mentioned it, we actually are involved in a secret project. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Cool. Our military strength is minimal. There's a Hanar in there. To help as we can. can I get in there? No. I want to speak to a. We haven't spoken to a Hanar in a while. Yes, I have spoken to the Palaman. It appears that Turian Why do you forces may lose to their me? planet. If it's possible that my son Bilal is alive, I will not rest Our until he's found. Has requested a war summit of council I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... 
Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. <laughs> Goes back onto his fire. He needs to... they needed... they really needed to try and put their hands closer to their heads. Because <laughs> it's like, what does this mean? How is he able to activate his comlink from this far away? <laughs> Uh, but we've got uh, we've got another new mission, uh, Benning evidence. Uh, he's looking for evidence of his son lost during a mission on Benning. Find evidence of what happened to his son. Return to the ambassador. Uh, we got anyone else on here? We got Udina and Bailey, right? And John Dumbal in the embassy offices. A woman still here? Oh, hello, ma'am. Ma'am. We've had this discussion, young lady. You're to call me Teresa. Maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch? What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. This is so. This is so sad, but the saddest part is that these these three lovely people waiting in the line have still not been served. <laughs> They're still waiting. See sec. Oh, hang on. Here you are, Commander Shepard. John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out, but how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. Kasumi! What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Yo! Are we gonna go to the Hanar homeworld? So Remember when you helped me get Keiji's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Oh my god! <laughs> Have we got Kasumi with us right now? Just invisible? Amazing. They're like, let's put Kasumi in your squad. But she's invisible. Solarian Spectre. A Solarian Spectre, how cool is that? 
Uh, John de Bale suspects that a member of the Hanard diplomatic staff is indoctrinated. Find evidence in the Presidium embassies. And we've got Kasumi with us. What? That's so cool. All right, let's have a look at the Spectre terminal. Um, military pardons for Normandy M engineers. Yes! There they are! Yay! I was literally just talking about this when we went to the Citadel. I was like, where's my where's my chatty crew members? Where's my chatty engineers instead of Adams? Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy. Yes! Authorize that shit. Amazing. <laughs> we got them back. We'll go back to the Normandy and we can have a chat to them when we next go back there. Uh, Hanala Embassy Tracking. Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records, and personal communications for all employees in the Hanala Embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Nav points of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omni tool. Enable. I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. So Oops. Absolutely. I... He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. That's really unfortunate. It skipped over what Shepard was just about to say and then kept the dialogue going instead of pausing it. Um, ooh, the N7 Defender looks very nice. 20% armor capacity, 10% to damage shields and health. But it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And I don't know if there's going to be other stuff that I need to buy instead. I am still going to hold off as much as I really want to cash. Cash in. So Kasumi's just going to be talking to us from a distance. <laughs> she's invisible. She's not actually part of our squad, really. But she kind of is. That's actually cool, though. Alright, so... Find evidence in the Presidium embassies. So we've now got terminals highlighted and stuff that we can that we can check out. Shepard. Uh, I don't know if this is any because we've already done this stuff before. But I'll see if he's got updates. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's I must know. I required a second VI just to track. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I rest assured I will. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that because the time. What's your read on the counselors? Counselor Irissa is not a shield. There, you know, frankly, it's good Quentia spoke with you. His home. Okay. He just has the same stuff. I'll be here. Same stuff. So, it's not anything to interact with. Now I'm outside. Okay. Love that Kazumi's just chilling out here. That's great. <laughs> so getting reunited slightly with another... Another old team member, which is nice. Um, let's see if we can go into CSEC. Commander Bailey. What's up, bud? It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about. Rumors flying about the war. People are walking around eyeballing each other and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Yeah, that's all the same too. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Some possible hits. Malone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. 
Not sure about Haloon. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Haloon's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Val <laughs> catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Of course I was. Because you're great. I need your goddamn amazing ability to go poof and just punch people in the back after being invisible. Um, okay, so I need to check out another location. Are we still staying in the embassies, however? Because I got I got um, distracted by the fact that Shepard's dialogue is busted when she was trying to talk. So she's got a mistress. He's got the Hana has a mistress. Um, it still says the Hana embassies though, so it's like, does it update it to another terminal, or do I need to go somewhere else in the citadel? I love that we were just going to talk to someone, and I ended up getting roped into a, <laughs> ended up getting roped into helping out Kasubi and another Spectre on a mission because it was very spontaneously thrusted upon me. Maybe I can check it at the terminal. So how did Kasumi was able to get in here cloaked then? Nope. Alright, maybe we gotta maybe I gotta go elsewhere. I miss when uh, in when in the journal you could highlight a mission and it would and it would give you step by step once you completed steps. There's a couple of things from Mass Effect 2 that have been taken away that I really appreciated. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame. It's a little bit of a shame. Um, let's get on the elevator. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Where would we go from here? Maybe the Presidium Commons? One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Oh, hang on. There's a terminal. We have our answer. Uh, I've got to go to the holding area docks. Because that would make sense. That would make sense with the whole sh shipment of money stuff. That's cool. Now arriving at docking bay E24. Bow. Heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? No. And I owe you for getting Keiji's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do another collector base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. <laughs> okay, so the map, yeah. I should have remembered how the map gets updated. So... Uh, there's a terminal in bay E28, which is all the way at the end. So we'll run on through to the end. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. This is so good. The update to the Citadel was fantastic. See, it was initially underwhelming. It was initially underwhelming on the first visit because I was like, oh, it's quite small. But now that it's opening up, this is amazing. Um, so we need to run all the way down to the end. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk to anyone else yet. Uh, we're going to just focus on doing this whole, this mission that we just found. And then we'll, we'll move on. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E-24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? 
Absolutely. Furthermore, relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. Okay. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. And then she's going to talk about the other stuff which we've already seen. What else is in the area? This high security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. So how did the council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Okay, so... What was your name? Uh, the guard. Christophe Vasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Leon. Do you know Leon? No. Good animations of conversation there. Um, again, there's a lot of people in this area to talk to and probably things to take in, but we're on a mission to go all the way to the end. Is that Garrus? Where are we? Yeah, Garrus is in number five. He's hanging out with a bunch of Turians. Oh, hang on. Look at that. That's me. That's a hologram of me. That's curious. What's going on in there? I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Val. Forwarding it to you. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. Wow. Public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe yeah. we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is Of course he is. What about Jacob? Huh. <laughs> Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. <laughs> I'm touched. Um, something's going on with Shep's dialogue where the first line of dialogue that she says just fades out. She starts talking and then it just fades out, which is really annoying. I don't know what the hell is going on there, but it's really bugging me. Um, but I love that, like, Kasumi's just like, yeah, Jacob could get me, uh, Jacob could get me onto the Normandy. I love that. Alright, where's this next terminal at the security checkpoint? Oh, hang on. Do we go back into here? This isn't about money. There we go. Back here. Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on... He got some tentacles on some recent Reaper tech. The subtitles are all over the place too. Um, and then on top of that, like, it's not even the first line sometimes. Sometimes it was literally just, um, like that one there was literally just, um, random piece of dialogue in the middle. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. So this is why I was like, when as soon as we got to the Citadel, I was like, yeah, we're going to need to split up the conversations that I have with people into another episode because it's going to go on for a while. And then we ended up just end, <laughs> like engaging in a mission while we're here as well at the same time. Zemandis? Or should I say... Regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Ooh. 
Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish! You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. Uh, Kasumi is terrifying when she's in that uh, cloaking system because you can see that under the she's got no she's like unless it doesn't show hair she's bald under there and her eyeballs are fully spherical and it's terrifying. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We are taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. What the fuck? You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! <laughs> Off-screen punch! Ooh! Got it. Jesus! Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. Yes. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. What the fuck? She just died? You can come out now. Oh, Jesus. You know? I was like, what the fuck? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it, all that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right, I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. I almost got so angry. I almost got so angry. We got Kasumi! I almost got so mad. You are kidding me. I was like, I can't believe that they would kill her in such a stupid way. Thank you, game, for the for giving me a heart attack. But no, that was a great scene. And that Hanar that was in there the whole time was the one that was suspicious by this terminal. That was funny. Um, all right, we blocked the virus supply. Everything was moving so quickly then. It was just like, bam, 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 bam. And then, like, I thought Kasumi died. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Everything's so quick. Why did Shepard punch someone off camera for some reason? And why did the explosion happen off camera? I was like, why is everything so weird? And then they're going to kill, a, like, one of my old squad mates. Who would... It would be really nice if Kasumi actually became a proper squad mate that wasn't the DLC companion, you know, from Mass Effect 2. But there you go. Uh, we did some sort of uh, crazy... <laughs> Uh, Hanar Diplomat um, Citadel mission with Kasumi, and now Kasumi is one of our war assets, which is which is great. Uh, I will bring this episode to a close now with that one, guys. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Mass Effect Three. Uh, next time we will be speaking to the rest of our lovely Citadel um, inhabitants. There's a lot to a lot to a lot to do, a lot to do on the Citadel, and then we'll also check out uh, some other stuff. We'll eventually be going to uh, these places as well, Grism Academy and Isma Frontier, that also have stuff to do uh, for the Citadel. So it's it's all happening. It looks like they're actually making the Citadel such a nice 
point of contact and exploration and new areas open up which is great like it look it feels very like lived in and alive which is which is really nice so much better than the mass effect 2 uh citadel so uh that's that's awesome uh thank you so much for watching this episode and i'll see you next time